ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang ating brain workout for the season. Samahan nyo kami ulit until the final week of competition para malaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. AJ is a student of National Teachers College taking a course in physical education. His hobbies are dancing, singing, and calligraphy. Arthur is a student from UP Diliman studying BS Metallurgical Engineering. He likes to let his to-be-read books pile up thinks that Kung Fu Panda Trilogy is perfect and still doesn't have a verified GCash account. Gab is a fourth-year student taking up BS Social Work in UP Diliman. If he is not studying for his majors, he is either sleeping or binge-watching Western sitcoms. And lastly, JC, a physical education sophomore from National Teachers College, calls himself a curious boy indeed. His hobbies are mostly sports such as table tennis, basketball, swimming, and cycling. He also likes playing video games, watching anime, and K-drama. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And of course, a painter, sculptor, film and TV director, critic, and multimedia artist, a professor emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon contestants, I'm ready with the questions na kailangan niyong sagutin. Kayo naman, get ready to buzz in, but wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Welcome to round one. Question number one. Among the members of the UAAP, which is the oldest existing university in the Philippines? Gab. USD. USD is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What word is one of the seven deadly sins but may also mean a group of lions? Gab. Pride. Pride is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What scientific term is simply defined as the quantity that describes the capacity to do work? Arthur. Energy. Energy is correct. Okay, check. Number four. What school of witchcraft and wizardry did Harry Potter attend? JC. Hogwarts. Hogwarts is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What fruit is the main ingredient in guacamole? Arthur. Avocado. Avocado is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What simple machine consists of a wheel with a groove where a rope can be placed and used? Arthur? Pulley. Pulley. Let me finish the question. A rope can be placed and used to change the direction of a force. The answer is pulley. Correct. Okay, check. Which empire in Africa worshipped cats and even had... Arthur? Egypt. Let me finish the question. And even had a cat goddess named Bastet. The answer is Egypt. Correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In elementary math, what is the quotient when you divide 22 by one half? Arthur. 11. 11 is male. AJ. 10.5. 10.5 is male. Anyone can steal? Ano dapat ang answer mo? 44. 44 should have been the correct answer. The answer is 44. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. New Delhi is the capital of which country? Arthur. India. India is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Minnie is the name of the girlfriend of which? JC. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. 
The, que the whole question is of which famous cartoon rodent? Your answer is Mickey Mouse, correct. Yes. Please check. In government agencies, what do the letters DSWD stand for? Gap. Department of Social Welfare and Development. Department of Social Welfare and Development is correct. K check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Today, it is classified as a dwarf planet, but it was a fully pledged. Arthur. Pluto. Let me continue with the question. But it was a full pledged planet from 1930 to 2006. What is this heavenly body? The answer is Pluto. Correct. K check. That ends our round number one. After that round, we have Arthur in the lead with 60 points, followed by Gab with 30 points, JC with 20, and AJ with some catching up to do. So, kaya nyo pang humabol sa susunod na round. But before we proceed to the next round, I'd like to welcome Professor Marian back to the panel. So, Prof, how does it feel to be back? Happy, happy. I miss the show and excited. But I'm more excited for our contestants na mukhang talagang rumaratsada. Mm -hmm. First round pa lang. First round pa lang. So mukhang very anito. It will be a very good game. That's right. So abangan natin kung ano pa ang mga mangyari mamaya. But of course, new to the panel but definitely not new to K-Check. Dahil brainchild niya ito. Prof. Gigi, please tell us how the idea of doing K-Check at TVUP came about. Kasi we'd like uh, the university, anyway, would like our uh, learners all over the country and all over the world to hear the thoughts and to access the minds of our scholars, mm -hmm. our professors. Uh, history, social science, and math. And napaka importante na makarating sa inyo. Hindi lamang yung mga pinag-aaralan natin and all that pero lahat din ng entertainment yes. gusto ko kung kasi maging kultura yung entertainment ang pag-aaral thank you Jules for that uh, question yes oh. and thank you of course for uh, thinking of doing this show Ayan na. So, pinagsama natin yung may matututunan ka na pero masaya at competitive na way pa. Ayan. So, maraming salamat Prof. Gigi. Ipapagpahinga po muna namin kayo dahil sa ating pagbabalik ay sasabak na sila sa next round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap po muna tayo. Leading pa rin si Arthur with 60 points, followed by Gab with 30 points, JC with 20, at mamaya babawi si AJ sa ating next round. So ngayon, mas kikilalanin muna namin kayo. Unahin natin kausapin si Curious Boy ng Hilig is to Go on Adventures. JC, anong klaseng adventures ba yung mga hinahanap mo? Um, mostly outdoor activities po talaga. Tulad na lang po ng um, beaches, um, hiking, hiking, like that, yes. Saan bundok ka mahilig mag-hike? Last we went on in Tanay. Tanay. Um, I'm not familiar with the uh, the bundok talaga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least yung lugar alam mo. Yes po, yes Beach po. naman. Um, sa beach, um, recently we went from, uh, we went to Matabungkay Beach Matabungkay. from Batangas. Batangas, okay. Maraming salamat. Ito naman, kasama rin natin si AJ, uh, Kapwa Physical Education student ni JC, and also from the National Teachers College. So from physical activities like singing and dancing, biglang medyo tahimik yung isang mong hilig na itong calligraphy. Habi mo rin siya. Ano bang natutulong itong art form na ito sa'yo? Um, for me, um, yung calligraphy kasi parang siya yung minsan ano, nagpaparilid ng uh, mga, uh, minsan mga problems ko kapag mm. ano, Kung baga, pag may mga problems ako, imbis na, ano ko, imbis na maggalagala ako, siguro dun, dun ko na lang more pinapocus yung sarili ko sa pagkakaligraphy. Pag may minsan, time ka, no? Yes po. Minsan nga po, ang dami ko na nasasayang napapel dahil sa kaligraphy. Ba't hindi mo ibenta? 
Um, sometimes po parang naisip ko rin na ibenta. Why not po kasi this is din ano po parang effort din po. Effort yes. din yung binigay ko dun sa calligraphy na yun. Oh, ayan. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Okay, so now it's time for round two. Ready na ba kayo? Okay, ready ready na sila. So contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round number two. Let's begin. Question number one. What word describes the combination of qualities expected of an ideal knight and may now mean... Arthur? Chivalry. Let me proceed with the question. Now mean kind behavior by men towards women. The correct answer is chivalry. Paycheck. Question number two. Which English playwright wrote Romeo and Juliet Gab Shakespeare in the 90 in the 16th century the answer is William Shakespeare or Shakespeare correct Kate check question 3 the forbidden city is a walled complex of palaces temples and gardens built by the Ming dynasty emperors in what city can you find Arthur Beijing in what city can you find forbidden city correct answer is Beijing Okay, check. Question four. In science, what do you call the point at which a bar or lever turns? Fulcrum. Fulcrum is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Even bigger than the lion or jaguar, what is the largest member? Arthur. Tiger. What is the largest member of the cat family? Correct answer is Tiger K. Check. Question 6. In what country is Yokohama the second most populous city? AJ. Japan. Japan is correct. K. Check. In James Barry's novel, The Little White Bird, what is the name of the fictional boy who refuses to grow up? Lies. The answer is Peter Pan. Let's proceed to question 8. In 1912, which British luxury passenger liner sank during Arthur? The Titanic. During its maiden voyage in the Atlantic Ocean? Correct answer is Titanic. K check. Question number 9. What is the Tagalog word for tamarind? Gab. Sampalo. Sampalok is correct. K-check. In basketball, what violation by the defense occurs when a shot going down is blocked or touched? JC. Shooting foul. Shooting foul is mali. AJ. Traveling. Traveling is mali. You cannot answer anymore. Sorry. May hahabol ba? Time's up. Correct answer is goaltending. Question 11. What soft metal used in jewelry and electric circuits has the chemical symbol AG? Arthur. Silver. Silver is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What do you call the scientific study of the weather? Da. Astronomy. Astronomy is malay. Arthur. Meteorology. Meteorology is correct. Okay, check. That ends our round two. Let's do a quick recap. Arthur is leading with 200 points. Gab with 60 points. And AJ and JC are tied with 10 points. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay natin, ang ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lamang yan sa pagbabalik ng Okay, check. Welcome back to K-Check. Oh, Gab, napansin ko sa bio mo na puro work and play from home. Studying, sleeping, and binge-watching. Ayaw mo bang lumabas ng bahay? 
Um, actually, lumalabas din po ako ng bahay. Um, since uh, competitive debater din po ako, so may mga pagkakataon din po na nagko-compete nationally and internationally. Mm -hmm. Yun din po yung mga pagkakataon na lumalabas din po ako ng bahay. Yeah, pakita mo yung logo ng so, <laughs> UP Debate Society. UP Debate Society. Wow. Ngayon naman, si Prof. Neil naman, napapakausap po kay Arthur kasi medyo mabigat eh. Metallurgical Engineering. Baka mapasubo ako, sir. So, Di, mabigat lang. talaga yun. Basta mayroong math sa akin, mabigat yun. Ako rin, sir. Hindi ko makakasubo. Kaya na Natakot na ako kay Prof. Marian. Oo nga eh. Wala. <laughs> Swerte na lang kung makakasagot ako ng isang tanong sa mat mula sa mga tanong ni Ma Marian. Pero ang tanong ko kay Arthur pala, mahilig siyang magbasa at meron kang pile of to read books. Gusto naming malaman ano ba yung mga susunod na libro na gusto mong basahin. Uh, Agatha Christie na libro. Binigay sa akin ng classmate ko dati. Hindi ko pa nababasa. Arthur, wala ka bang mga gustong history books? <laughs> Kung bibigyan ako. Sir, nagpaparinig sa inyo. Yeah, pwede ako magbigay. <laughs> Pero kailangan mong lumipat sa history program. <laughs> Ayan. So, maraming salamat. Mas nakilala natin yung mga contestants natin. Thank you. So, once again, in the lead pa rin sa ating scoreboard ngayon, si Arthur with 200 points. Okay, pero siyempre kayong lahat ay may chance pang makahabol sa ating ultimate pagalingan round. Correct answers are worth 30 points at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And remember, ang ating panel of experts sa kanila po magagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your chance para humabol. Kaya good luck. Let's begin. Alright, let's start our first question from Prof. Marian. First question. Which of the following is not a native Philippine tree? A. Katmon B. Mahogany Gab. Mahogany, letter B Native means plants born or originating in the country. Mahogany was introduced in the Philippines in the early 1900s. It's native to the Americas. Correct answer is letter B. B. Mahogany. K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Neil. During the Spanish colonial period, what was a special right given by the Pope to the Spanish crown to appoint bishops or priests in the colonies? A. Encomienda. B. Patronato Real. C. Reducción. D. Real Setuado. E. Obispado. B. Patronato Real. Tinawag na Catholic monarchs ang mga kaharian sa Spain at Portugal. Kasama sa layo ng kolonisasyon ng dalawang bansa ang paglaganap ng katolisismo sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo. Ang tamang sagot ay B. Patronato Real. Kay Check. Thank you. Prof. Gigi. Who founded the first art school in the Philippines? The Academia de Bujo y Pintura in 1823. A. Damian Domingo. B. Juan Luna. C. Felix Resurrección Hidalgo. D. Fernando Morsolo. E. Botong Francisco. AJ. Letter E. Botong Francisco. Mali. Ah, mali. Oh. Baka po may gusto pang ano, mag-steal. Time's up, ma'am. Alright. Alam niyo yung mga drawing, painting na yung mga damit, ng ano, di ba? Ito ay medyo ano lang, very flat ang kanyang mga drawing. Pero ito ay uh, kilalang kilala. At ang kanyang unang skwela ay located in Binondo, Manila. Uh, ang tamang sagot ay Damian Domingo A. Thank you. Prof. Marian? In which industry were workers affected by the occupational disease Fossey Jaw? Letter A. Jewelry making. Letter B. Matchmaking. Gap. Letter B, matchmaking. Okay, falsy jaw is formally known as the phosphorus necrosis of the jaw, which could lead to facial disfigurement and sometimes fatal brain damage. This is a disease affecting those who work with white phosphorus. So, phosphorus. 
Workers in match factories use white phosphorus. The correct answer is B. Matchmaking. K. Check. Yes. Rothmin? According to the 2020 Philippine Census of Population and Housing, about one in every four of the 108.67 million household population in 2020 reported blank as their ethnicity. A. Bisaya or Binisaya. B. Cebuano. C. Elocano. D. Tagalog. E. Waray. Tagalog, that or D. Matatagpuan ang etnisidad na ito sa kalakhan ng Central Luzon, Calabarzon, Mimaropa at Metro Manila. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Tagalog, K-check. Nagkahabulan na ang scores natin. And uh, eto naman ang aking tanong. Which Filipino film won the first Palm d'Or the, in the Canfield Festival? A. Kinatay B. Anino C. Insiang D. Moral E. Brutal AJ. Letter B. Anino <laughs> Ang galing! Natuwa ako dahil nakuha mo, anak. Ito ay isang short film directed by the well-known independent film director, Raymond Red. Anino is the correct answer kay Check. Okay, science naman. In what medium does sound travel the fastest? A. Vacuum B. Air C. Water Arthur, water C. Water Mali AJ B. Air Mali um, Let me finish the question. So in what medium does sound travel the fastest? A. Vacuum B. Air C. Water D. Solid E. Fluid Gab. Solid, letter D Sounds travel faster when molecules are closer together. To allow the sound waves to travel more quickly, among the choices ang pinaka-close together ay ang mga solid molecules. So the correct answer is letter D, solid. Okay, check! We have a new leading contestant as, as of the moment. Which old city in India was considered as a major urban center of the Indus Valley Civilization. A. Elam B. Harappa C. Lahore D. Loyang E. Sumer Arthur Sumer Mali Dad. B. Harappa Tatagpuan sa lugar na ito ang isang sentrong urban na may malinaw na pagpaplano ng lungsod. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Harapa, K-Check. Prof. Gigi. In what year of Metro Manila Film Festival where the Board of Judges did not give awards in the categories of Best Film, Best Story, and Best Screenplay? Your choices are A, 1977, B, 1986, C, 1988, D, 2000, and E, 2003. Bakit yung jurors hindi nag-select nitong mga kategorya na to? Because the Board of Jurors wanted to make the statement that most films produced were focused in perpetuating negative stereotypes and commercially oriented movies. This happened in 1986. Prof. Marian? My favorite oh, no. subject. I <laughs> hope it's also your favorite. <laughs> what is the slope of the line given by the equation 2y, 2 times y, equals 6 times x plus 2. Letter A, 2. Arthur, 3. If you have an equation of the form 
y is equal to mx plus b, m ang slope niya. So, 2y equals cx plus 2 becomes y equals 3x plus 2. The slope will be 3. The correct answer is b, 3. Okay, check! Gumanon lang siya ng daliri eh. Gumanon lang siya, tapos nakuha niya agad. Prof. Neil. Yeah, maganda yung tanong ni Ma'am Gigi kung kaya ko ba yun. Grabe, habang nagbabasa si Ma'am Marian, nose bleeding experience eh. Masa may X, Y. Uling tanong mula sa akin, which Philippine ethnic group aided the forces of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi to take control of Manila in the 16th century? A. Cebuano B. Ilonggo C. Ilocano D. Kapampangan E. Tagalog Arthur Tagalog E. Mali Gab Kapampangan letter D Mali AJ Letter A. Cebuano Nagmula sa Visayas ang ekspedisyon ni Miguel Lopez de Legazpi bago sila pumunta sa Maynila Ito ang magpapaliwanag kung bakit may mga kasama si Legazpi na karamihan ay mga taga Cebu. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Cebuano, K-check. Last question for this round from Prof. Gigi. What was the film directed by Lino Broca in 1970 that was about a married businessman played by Eddie Garcia who had a passionate affair with driver played by Mario O'Hara. A. Tanikalang Dugo B. Tanikala C. Tubog sa Ginto D. Alkitram Dugo E. Dugo at Bayan Puro Dugo! <laughs> Tubog sa Ginto is one of the earlier films that tackled the issue of gay relationships. Isang matapang na pelikula. So, napaka-importante, nagbigay ng puwang, nagbigay ng space, itong pelikula na to sa mga marginalized voices ng gays. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ayang, wala na ako. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to our debater Gab, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 225 points. So we'll see Gab again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Congratulations, Gab. See you. And congratulations then to all of you. Thank you once again to AJ, to Arthur, and to JC for joining us, and to our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Once again, I'm Jules Kiang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>